Good evening, everybody. We are here with Neo Reloaded on Boston Bluebee. My name is Swell. I'm here with the incomparable Milky J. We're getting ready for some Guilty Gear plus our action. Milky, how's it going tonight? Yo, so Swell. Good, y'all. Good evening, everyone. It's going uh, pretty, uh, pretty exciting. I'm looking forward to this uh, Guilty Gear plus our bracket we got going on. Um, Oh yeah, 36 player bracket, about oh, 37 I think maybe? Yeah, right 30, around 37 right now. Yeah, we got a nice character spread too, a lot of strong players. Got your, your, old, stand, your old standbys like uh, Elven Shadow, probably going to be the uh, last boss of this tournament if I had to be a betting person, but you know. <laughs> you know, things happen in bracket because we got uh, other people like Skeletal Minion who can always cause, a, cause an upset or two. I mean, well, it's not an upset if Skeletal Minion uh, comes, that, comes through, but you know, mm -hmm. Elven got some people who can, uh, who can put a beat down on, on them as well. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, well, like, you know. we should have a... Uh... Oh, go ahead, please. Oh, no, no, no yeah, just, you know, uh, it, it's, I definitely feel like the competition is going to be uh, pretty fiery today, especially with the, um, you know, with with the Neo Reloaded event and um, and the the pot bonus right now, uh, which is looking pretty good. I think we're at, um, what is that? We got a couple hundred in there right now. 230 uh, $230. Some uh, Guilty Gear plus R, so, you know... This game is never, it's never dead, y'all. Keep this alive. And, uh, okay, got our first two players in here right now. We got Wheel and Spooky Blast coming up here. Spooky Blast, one of the stalwarts of the New England scene, going up against Wheel. We got Wheel on Soul, Spooky Blast on Robocat. AKA Tomato Blast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the Robocat here, we got the unique meter situation going on, the three gate and the special bar. Special bar, uh, sorry, the meter at the bottom. Power specials, the heat gauge is the power of the moments. Oh wow. Catching the wheel on that 2D. Another 2D wheel. Pushing that mat down increases the meter gain there, so we're up high key. Trying to keep the momentum. Wow, the swing with that heat gauge. Yeah. It was so bad, guy, right? There's another green reference too, like around my bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, the wild rope this time! Off of the delayed wake up! Robokai along with Wicked has access to that delayed wake up. Here you go! Okay. Oh, wild rope, nothing. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, what? Spends the cash for the Force Break Sidewinder there. The Force Break Sidewinder forces the uh, King Hood as well. However, it's Spooky. Yeah, 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 spooky Blast yeah. taking round one. That command grab uh, steals meter too, I remember, sir. Or just generates a ton of I think it's just the generator. Okay. Nice to from a Oh, but a wheel. Yeah, they hit a round by the wheel. It's just off the ball. It as well. Trying to run in though, but has to deal with those rockets. Trying to keep a trying to keep a Okay. All right. You're going to hit there off the faster. Just take it to the after. Knock down. Oh, just over the fire. Okay. Oh, wow. There it is again. Another one. Robokai's uh, dust is one of the We'll see if we can get the audio uh, sorted out here. We got JMD holding it down for us on the stream production. Uh, JMD, uh, much love there. Always, uh, always a delight to work with. Yo. Gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll still see to us and get us sorted out here. Y'all let us know if you got any other issues with the stream. Trying to bring you the finest in production quality for Neo Reloaded here on Boston Blue Bee right now. Of course, Neo Reloaded with support from Trace Complete as well as Casa. Mm -hmm. so All let's right. get to it. Got game two going on. All right, we got a player swap as well. Gear lobbies are gear lobbies, but you know that's fine. We got we got a spooky blast on the left now. Got wheel on the right. Yeah, you know we keep up with the names. It will, uh, you know. Got, oh, nice. Yeah, catches. Yeah, Robokai has a unique. Uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All right. Just gets through it. Oh, we got the dust loop. Oh, doesn't quite get it. Robokai is a really weird character to combo on too. Like if you don't have your combos ready, he's very tricky. Oh. oh. Oh, I like the attempt. Yeah, yeah. Oh, another Crown Viper from Wheel. Gets the clean hit on it, gets the Sidewinder clean hit as well. Not able to quite get the pickup afterwards. Yeah, 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 get out of there. 
I think we're, get, we're getting a little bit of what I was talking earlier with. Ooh, and a hard bait from Will. I'm not too sure about that one. Don't don't really. Oh yeah, second air throw from a spooky blast. Okay, oh yeah. tomato blast. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. You know, you, they're playing their own game. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's nice. Oh, catches the command grab off the 2K. Yes, that. Oh, oh, with the TK DP. What if I told you that Robokai has an overhead DP? Yo, I actually hate that DP. Yeah, <laughs> because it's pretty cheap and it's hard to see. And uh, yeah. we'll, you know, getting hit by it. Uh, oh, tomato no. blast going on step point. Got wheel there. Got the counter hit uh, hit off the gun flame, and that's normally something that you can pick up with with Soul. But I imagine that Robokai weight makes that a little tricky because I believe uh, Robokai is in the super heavy weight, even though his, his body box is more similar to Kai's than like one of the longer characters. Yeah, no, Wheels got to definitely tighten up those BDs because so far in his set, uh, Spooky Blast has brought, gotten away with a lot of throws against uh, Wheel in yeah. general. Well, it's a don't let so Oh, Ooh. nice! With the repeated FRCs, let's go! Uh, yeah, that's uh, one of the tricky parts about Robokai is that on top of the fact that Robokai can do the late wake up, as we saw there with the 5H FRC, you can just. Oh, that's it! That's it! That's it. That's it. Yo, damn. Yo, okay! <laughs> Set one, or sorry, our first match on stream goes the way of Spooky Blast, holding it down for New England. Wheel, though, uh, tried to show us some stuff, didn't quite work out. Spooky Blast advances onward. Wheel sent to the lower half of the bracket. Tough break. Yeah, and it's uh, what I was saying there, too. Uh, with Robokai, we saw that move where he like, sticks his hand out and it becomes like a metal ball. That's his uh, 5H, and so you can do that on 4H as well, and you still get the throw OS, but then you can also FRC it, and then you combine that with the fact that Robokai has delayed wake up as well as an option as well. It can get really tricky to try to get on top of Robokai and uh, enact offense. Uh, surprisingly, good, surprisingly good options on defense once Robokai has some bar to work with. Like I think, I think his DP is one of the better DPS as well. Once you yeah, it's pretty, level. it's pretty good. It'll it'll clash with like uh, some supers and stuff. So yeah, and you can rep it too. You can just keep doing it because like it it just takes away one special bar per usage, I believe, because it's not like a force break version or anything like that. It's just a special that's been upgraded. On to our next match, though. We got Crazy Master Hand going up against PAG Zone Vicky Viper. The so we don't have a gaming femme fatale. Think we're gonna have a Kyle Keesk mirror? Oh, really? We're gonna have the the Kai mirror? Let's get to I'm it. Pretty, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a Kyle uh, a, a Kai a Kiesk mirror. <laughs> Do we know where Crazy Master Hand hails from? Uh, oh, Testament. Oh, it's, it's Testament. Changed okay. it up. Yeah, that definitely changed it up from uh, over, maybe. I don't know where Crazy Master Hand is from, but I definitely feel like perhaps in the mirror match they've uh, they've opted to go another character before. But we'll see how Vicky Viper deals with it. I'm, you know, if I'm a betting if I'm a betting person, I'm definitely gonna put my money on Vicky Viper right now. Uh, Ooh, look at this damage off that combo, very clean from from Vicky. That was a nice what, like 50% right into follow up pressure here as well. Crazy Master Hand having to hold all this. I, Ooh, uh -oh. I think uh, it looks like Ooh, not it's not a controller issue or something. Yeah, it looks like it might be a controller issue. Uh, okay, but getting back to it now. Might, might have just been mentally uh, tapped out there after uh, some stuff happened. It can be like that sometimes. It can be like that sometimes. Oh, oh not looking like this a, is the adjustment at all. Yeah, oh, this is looking Into like the testament gameplay right here. Testament gaming. <laughs> okay, Crazy Master Hand coming out of Philly. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, that's where nice. I was Crazy Master Hand from. Yeah. Vicky, with the, ooh, tree. Vicky with the FRC there after the Vapor Thrust attention as well. Ooh, ooh, oh, knocks up! With the curse. Oh, this round is looking like a complete opposite of that first one. Okay, maybe they just need to adjust. Oh, excuse me. Oh, oh, you're getting depressed. All right. Let's go. <laughs> crazy Master Hand here making it happen. All right, one to one. All right, let's go, Crazy Master Hand. Yeah. Oh, we definitely like to see a, a jump heavy or a jump splash from a uh, CMH. Oh, nice 2P challenge, though. Okay. All right, we got the beast out. Oh, Chris to the other side of there, gets out of the corner. I like it. I like it. Take the situation. Take the opportunity just to get to a better positioning there. Okay. Okay. I use the lightning sphere to hold down the block string there and keep up the pressure. That wrist gauge getting cranked. If Vicky can find an opening here, okay. Wrist gauge a little depleted. Far less scary here. Oh, I was gonna say, uh, Master nice. did pretty well, but you know, still staying with that air throw. Uh oh, sticks. Uh oh. Yeah, air throw uh -oh. and has one of the dolls too. So we could see an upgraded uh, special here as well, possibly if if Vicky gives Crazy Master hand a chance. Use burst. the burst. Honestly, I'm surprised the doll hasn't been used yet. Like, don't 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 sit on that trying to go for a for a big uh, Twitch or Twitter clip combo. Just just use that thing. Get control of the situation here. Oh no, we're definitely about to see there it. it yeah. There it goes. Yep. Ah, uh, tries to oh. use it. Doesn't quite work out. Vicky oh, gets up and over. Crazy message to the super. 
no, no burst available on either either side. Crazy oh, mission handling. Nice meter. Oh, oh no! The jump in. Getting? Oh no! Oh no! no how much on the back foot are you gonna play? No. Damn! Oh, oh no. come on! Come on. Oh. Crazy Master Hand was sitting on that meter for so long. Could have done a dead angle. Could have tried to swing with something there. Could have just thrown a button, then RC'd it to make it safe. Oh, I wanted to see that meter get used. Yeah, but, definitely uh, could have. Mm. But that's okay, though. Crazy Master Hand got another game here. Game mm. one goes to Vicky Viper. All the matches are going to be first to two up until we get to the finals, which will be later, later, obviously. So right now, this will be Vicky Viper sitting on match point. Crazy Master Hand got to win two in a row. Get back at it. See how it goes. Crazy Master Hand was definitely adjusting as the set went on, too. Like, um, yeah. Now, I think, like, just a slight degree of too much passivity and hanging back there. Like, Testament does have... Mm -hmm. You know, I can see it, though, because, like, Kai is able to keep control of things with a Ooh. pretty good neutral game and able to keep that pressure up, and then Vicky Viper as well, uh, piloting that character. It can get a little scary. Oh, what a 6B counter. Oh! Yeah. Yo, this hurts. Sitting Vicky's up making right a, uh, Yeah, she's definitely making it her right now. Meaty Fireball. Charge stun edge, doing its work. Oh, oh I love that! The double force <laughs> break seal in the air to really hold down all of that air movement. That was so, or any like jump back attempt. That was really, really smart from Vicky. Excellent stuff. Somebody talk to Vicky. Tell her, tell her I said that that was a beautiful, man, uh, beautiful use of her, of her resources. All right, catch it with the net there. Another. All right, we got the full extension here. It's like Crazy Master Hand get, has to get like bopped hard and then fires back with a pretty, pretty dominant round after that. Mm, yeah, crazy master hands. Uh, two P uh, challenges. In these situations has been really well. Oh, I really like that air backdash to try to get the right distance Ooh, to get the battle lands set up correctly. It didn't quite work out, but I love the intention behind it. Lot of bar available on both hands on both sides here. Ooh, nice oh, nice FRC. Ooh, can't get oh, the FRCs from both oh, ends. Wow, what a counter hit confirmed in the awareness of Vicky. Oh, 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 are you kidding oh, me? That was so cool. Blocked. Oh, Yo, let's go. Oh, 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 wow. There it is. Ah! Crazy Master Hand fires back, able to clip Vicky on the recovery of that whiff paper thrust there. <laughs> Vicky says, sure, you'll get it when you're like, Oh my <laughs> god, what <you> doing? <laughs> Just trying to desperately <laughs> end that round. And Crazy Master Hand feels like, oh, it's a thirst, but the thirst is not enough to, oh, it's oh. not Viper from what's a Crazy Master Hand across the head. Yeah, Yo, the green, damn. Green Sever hitting from the back end there. Oh. All right, scores the knockdown there off the Vapor Thrust extension. It's gonna be, tries to dash on in. Oh, okay, Crazy Master Hand gets the connection here. Crazy Master Hand can turn this into some control. No, doesn't quite make it happen there. Leaves room for Vicky to tech out, not able to turn into a knockdown. Oh, please. There it is. Okay, gets the back dash for the, for the, for the Badlands setup. Set oh, you don't get the table here. Oh, this is your no, game. Oh, Crazy Master Hand, go, go, never put a hundred meter. No, you better use that meter. You better keep it. Do something with it, please. Unfortunate, too, because the spacing that that interaction ended up at left it at the perfect spacing for uh, Vicky to stay oh, far enough away to meet her. No! Let's stop the whiff! Meter! Oh, please! Please! Alright, alright, alright. Here we go. Alright. Oh, alright. Right. Force my curse. Oh. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. We're seeing some resources get used. Oh, ah. oh no! Vicky finding a way through, follows in after the FRC Sun Edge, cleaves right through Crazy Master Hand's Testament. Tough break for Crazy Master Hand. Vicky Viper marches onwards through the upper bracket. Mm. Crazy Master Hand had some really nice moments in there as well. It just seemed like not quite able to keep the momentum going once it was established. It happened in one of those rounds there, but Vicky Viper being such a strong player, if you leave any room, Vicky Viper's gonna get right back to it. Especially when you play a character whose tools are on the sort of direct side, like Kai, you don't necessarily need to shuffle your mental stack a ton to, to get back into your flow there. Not to, not to undersell Vicky's capabilities, of course, but I think it's fair to say that Kai is one of the more straightforward characters of the cast. Yeah, yeah, no, Kai, Kai is definitely a straightforward, you know, so when when you're Kai, you're definitely outplaying your opponent a lot. <laughs> yeah. Especially against some of these degenerates like uh, Zappa, Biken, and Testament, you know, it gets a little, uh, <laughs> it, gets a little it gets a little like, hey, what, what is this? Is this a joke? But uh, up next, we've got Elven Shadow, Frosty Fausting's own. Versus Rumper. Rumpa! Rumpa! Rumpa. We on, on, the, on the mic. Do we know where uh, do we know where Rumpers from? If anybody if anybody knows, give a shout for now. I, I do not. We got Rumpers Elvin trying to give that from that bumper land. <laughs> oh, okay, we got another Robokai. Yo, this Robokai caller. Okay. 
Yo, damn, why does this look like so many, uh, so many Fursona color palettes from the Turbo Kai? <laughs> it looks like, it looks like that, but also, I, I just think of, uh, the great drink, uh, I think a great drink Robo Kai. Alright, great drink Robo Kai? Alright, I see it. Alright, Faust here, going to work. I want that great, I want that purple drink, baby! <laughs> the Elven Shadow definitely looking like they want that, that 5k drink. <laughs> Alright, Elven Shadow here in firm control, uh, gets with the, with the, with the pogo overhead, just slapped right in there. Let's see what the round start's gonna be here. Okay. Jumps up, goes to the J2K. Mm. Yeah, Elvin Shadow, you know, it, it, business as usual, you know. Every, oh, yeah. Every, the spacing is extreme, extremely compact. Um, oh, okay. Nice slot from Rumper. Oh, alright. But Elvin with the immediate challenge. Uh, just the situational awareness and experience. Mm -hmm. It's also a little bit scary, too, for Robokai to deal with. Uh, with not only Elven Shadow, but Faust in general, because Robokai needs to be able to establish a resource game and get that going. And it's really hard to get going against a character like Faust, who is strong in so many ways. <laughs> However, though... Could long range pretty well, but... Hey, there you go. Rumper's getting something started. But... Okay. Okay. Rumper's getting, getting a little bit of momentum here. Oh, hella bombs on the screen here. Just gets away. No, thank you. Don't don't want to deal with it. Oh, all right. Nice block on the uh, far splash. Yeah, also, too, we, we see Robokai. Just pointing this out for anybody that maybe doesn't know Robokai as much. One of those slightly okay. rarer characters. All right, Good Shane. stuff. Oh, yeah, we got the no we got those normals fired up now as well. So, get those big knockback effects on some of those. Yeah, Oven Although has to be careful, be but... Oh. <gasps> has burst available here? Burst? Here it is. Yeah. Had to burst. Oh, it's hammer play. time. <laughs> <laughs> so, just going to point out really quick, game one going to Elven. The, mm -hmm. uh... Robokai has a move that looks like the first half of Kai's Stun Dipper, but it's just a normal. That's just his 2K. Uh, so if y'all are seeing that move there, it's not quite a... It's, it's not a special, it's just a normal, so you can do all sorts of stuff out of it because it's just that first half of the Stun Dipper with the slide kick. Uh, Robokai's got like weird buttons because that become because then his 2S becomes his sweep, and then his uh, 2H, I believe, is where he puts the mat down. Yeah, the, the 2H is the, uh, it's the, it's the power mat. You get that. Uh, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. All right. Rumper here, Thanks, able to uh, knack some offense here, trying to close close in. All right, about to poison cloud. Not too much of a threat here. Don't want to don't don't want to play too passively though against Elven Shadow. While you do have to respect a lot of what Faust does here, if you let that happen, Elven Shadow is going to eventually push you into the corner, and then it's ooh game over. Yeah, Bozak will definitely uh, bully you if you uh, <laughs> if he gets a chance. So <laughs> you have to like you, you're you're honestly like whenever you're fighting, you know, clear. Anyone who's playing, you know, plus R at this point, especially no. Yo, let's go. When you're playing these players at this level, right? You gotta, you gotta be able to just match up their speed. Like, if you can't, if you're not, you know, making those decisions, like, right back, they're still just like go over you and like win the round. But uh, Rumper is doing a good job of dusting compared to that first game. But yeah. Elven Shadow still more comfortable in the risk taking as you see with that. Oh fourth no, the poison! Up. Yeah, this is tough right here. There was a really nice moment there from Rumper that we saw uh, when I uh, had a sense that Elven Shadow was going to go for a teleport and did a forward dash there, which actually does a pretty good job of getting away from most of Faust's teleport options because you run far enough away so that the force break door doesn't hit you. And if Faust does the dive, you get on the other side of the dive and you can try to do something after it. Uh, it's not always what you want to do, but uh, it looked like a mindful choice from Rumper. Ah, uh, the classic, get the bomb on the screen, run up and get the thrower the unblockable to throw this time. Elven Shadow here in front control the situation. It's clipped by the wrist rockets, though. Bozak's looking really good on match point right now, but uh, Rumper definitely uh, starting to get a bit of a of an adjustment on Elven Shadow's, uh, you know, rhythm mm -hmm. and stuff. But it's, it's going to be really hard at this point. <sighs> oh yeah, oh, is that it? Nope, has burst. Okay. Has to catch it out right one, there. One last chance. F final stand. All right, what you got? What you got, Rumper? Oh, ah. you got jump heavy. That jump heavy from from Faust, so big. It's so hard to challenge him in the air. And game goes to Elven Shadow, and uh, no no shame to Rumper though. Rumper played that pretty well, and you could see Rumper making adjustments and trying to be mindful about their choices as it went on. But sometimes you just run into those uh, strong players early on in the bracket. Tough break. Yeah, it's no shame losing to, especially a player like Elven Shadow. You know, a legend. You know, right? Uh, yeah. More, like I ha probably half the players in this bracket. You know, there's no shame in losing. Them. They, they've they've done some legendary feats in their own. So. Yeah. Yeah. You know. And. We'll get a we'll get our next uh, batch of matches up here shortly for y'all. Thank you for joining us. Pass the stream link around. Let's get some viewers in here for some Guilty Gear Plus R. I know Strive has been the hotness, but right now it is time for some Accent Core XX Plus R. No, wait, XX Accent Core Plus R. Did I mess up the naming? I'm so sorry, everybody. Fake Gear Fan exposed. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop and, it. 
<laughs> also hit up that Macherino as well. You can see the link there in the chat if you haven't already. Free to contribute, just gotta sign in. You can use your Twitter, your battle.net, whatever. Sign in, contribute with the Macherino codes. Let's try to cash out all those codes if you can, please. And uh, yeah, and show the, give, give these players a little more. If you wanna make a direct contribution, that's also there. You can also buy some stuff from some of the sponsors of the event there, like Kitan Books, uh, publishing some, mon some manga. You can follow them on Twitter, at Kitan Books. And you can also check out uh, some of their other options available. And if you buy those, those are like Macherino quests, which contribute to the prize pool. So you can make that happen too. Got some other action in the bracket as well right now. Looks like we have uh, Lem. We got Yo-Yo Master and Dayquil coming up next on stream. Oh, Dayquil, I know that name. Dayquil is a, uh, either a, a Kai, one of the protagonists, but either Kai, uh, Haas, Soul, or Cliff. One of those characters, I'm pretty sure. Could be wrong. And, Wait, did uh, you just put Cliff in a protagonist role? I mean, Cliff is a, <laughs> you know, he is the original father, and and he is a you know testament testament father. Fasha. Oh, uh, Lem, I was just saying that that uh, you were advancing forward in the bracket, and that we had Lem versus Panda Bedic coming up uh, at some point. Not not necessarily on stream. I was just calling out Lem versus Panda. Oh, so we got Jersey versus New York. Yo, let's Yo, get I, it. I don't know if that one's happening on stream. I'm just looking at, at, at what's going down. <laughs> uh, oh, we got Vicky versus Jason Riot. And, Jason um, Riot. If Jason Riot plays Soul, I I want to say Jason Riot plays Soul. I'm ninety percent. Yeah, Jason sure. Riot replays Soul. Yo, that's Jason a cannon Riot fight right there. Sick. Yeah, okay. Jason oh. Riot. Uh, at the, uh, the last tournament, uh, me and Minnie met. Uh, we're doing commentary on Jason Riot was going off. Uh, swell. They were like, it, it was ridiculous. Like I had seen, I had seen Jason Riot, you know, playing bits and uh, pieces here before and stuff, but like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was it was something different seeing them play uh, the last time. That was like a month or some change ago. But um, you know, Yo Yo Master Twenty Three. I'm going to assume they are a Bridget player. <laughs> safe assumption. Safe okay. assumption. I'm with that. <laughs> yeah. Then we got oh another another banger match. I don't know if we'll get this on stream, but uh, Heartwad versus Tails. Tails, uh, one of New England's own, playing that Anji. Tails placed very high in the Midnight Carnival, the big uh, Invitational Gear tournament that happened a while back. Uh, placed third in that. So Tails, no slouch. But Heartwad also no slouch. So that would be a that'll be a, a fire match. We'll see what we get on stream though. For right now, we're waiting for Yo Yo Master and Dayquil. So we got we got some Yo Yo versus we got a Yo Yo, which is like I guess an exciting thing. You know, you play with Yo Yos, <laughs> and it gets the with the person like the name Dayquil. It's, it's kind of funny. <laughs> getting put to sleep. Uh, getting well, no, no, no. I'm sure Dayquil will be. Well, no, no. Dayquil puts you makes you awake. Oh, Dayquil makes you awake. Okay. Yeah, 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 because because uh, it's daytime Nyquil, so it, it uh, yeah, don't don't, yeah, Dayquil uh, has an upper in it to make you awake, which is so it's like a daytime cold medicine, so you can clear your headache and stuff, but then you're up, uh, which uh, don't take that with alcohol, it's not good for your body. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you still have a little bit of drowsiness though with that, but it seems like both players are in the lobby right oh, now. Oh yeah, and... yeah, your, your your head's still a little still a little wobbly on it. Don't don't get me wrong. Okay, so we got Dayquil playing Kai going up against. Yo Yo Master on Bridget, as predicted. Yep, yep. The get. We'll do it. All right, here. So, yeah, Bridget with placing the Yo Yo and being able to move around so much can be kind of hard for Kai to pin down, but uh, we'll see how it breaks down here. And these are both characters who are kind of low damage in the scheme of things, really, too. Yeah, yeah, they definitely are. Like, because uh, that's been what I've seen uh, as a review of Kai. Like, if Kai actually had decent damage in this game and didn't have to be right more times than other people, he'd be probably up a tier, but his damage is kind of middling a lot of the time. Oh, without having a lot of risk. And then that's also one of Bridget's large problems as well. Mm -hmm. However, Bridget has incredible mobility and some of the weirdest mix that you might have to deal with since every Bridget player is going to be a little bit different. Yeah, yeah. All, uh, yeah you know, Guilty Gear. Every, yeah. You, no one plays any character the same at all. And that's, you know, definitely a beautiful thing about it. But, uh, way cool. Way cool right now. Hanging in there. Oh, as I say that, yeah, Yo -yo that, master 23. that kickstart my heart was able to make some noise there and get some damage in. Got some meter here on Dayquil. Okay, nice. Scores the FRC. Able to follow up follow up with some offense afterwards. Hits with a big greed sever. RCs it, but then immediately burst after the RC. Jagged Roger controlling the air path. Wow, the hitbox on kickstart my heart. That went so far away from his feet. I'm shot. <laughs> kickstart my heart being the... Uh, in the uh, kind of skidding move that Bridget has there. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, got hit by the sick bait. I feel like maybe they were trying to block, but... Oh yeah, and then we saw it right there, Bridget has a delayed wake up option like Robokai as well, although Bridget's isn't quite as long, uh, and Bridget gets a yo-yo placement out of it. So like, you'll see that on a wake up sometimes where the yo-yo will suddenly go up into the air after Bridget's on the floor. Ooh! Swatted by the Boots ever. Dayko, get some damage out of it. This is a... It was a black beat combo as well, so... Oh, half that, that did not have to happen. The worst! And we're okay. not gonna see a burst here, even though a burst is available. So oh. yeah, one, one touch will be death. Oh, oh, yo yo mess. Don't hang it in there. Dayquil was okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dayquil was able to, to keep the composure there, blocked the overhead attempt by Bridget, and just blocked out the whole string. And yeah. Alright, one round apiece. Oh, Ooh. yo, I didn't know that, uh, I didn't know that, uh, pretty Tony. Thank you for that info. If the yo yo's already placed, Bridget can through the delayed wake up, so yeah, it's, oh, uh, okay. it's an aspect you can keep in mind. I had not. That makes plenty of sense because then you can't place it, so. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah, yeah, oh. was, we saw right there. Oh, no! Oh. The delayed wake up uh, prevented that charge stun edge from holding down the meaty on the wake up. Mm -hmm. Up and above things here. They oh! Could, oh Reed Sever forcing Yo Yo Mask for the first. You know, I feel like Reed Sever is actually a pretty good option in this matchup a lot of the time. Like, people meme about Reed Sever a lot of the time, but because it controls so much airspace, it seems like that's pretty good to stop Bridge from trying to run away. Oh! Ooh, the oh, off screen they, horse break oh, seal! No. Nice! Okay, cross they ran out of meter too, so couldn't, um, couldn't block yeah. it all. Yeah, wasn't able to FD through the whole thing. Jagged Roger controlling the approach there. So Roger doing a... Uh, trying to snipe right now, but they quit with the life lead. Oh, meaty 2k. Yo, Yo Master uh, getting up and above everything right here, trying to snipe oh. out with uh, Roger hitting the feet. Didn't quite work! Oh. oh, no, so close to death here. Oh, no! What? I don't know why that hit! No. Must have been trying to do a wake-up option. Oh, Heartbreaker. Didn't have to... <laughs> Had meter for the FD as well, so the charge stun edge wouldn't have chipped out either. Mm -hmm. Unless Bridget is somehow unsafe during the delayed wake up, but I don't think so though. Nah, nah probably just you know it, it, it was a very uh, it was a very static situation. So likely their hand just wasn't on the uh, the button fast enough, and it's probably processing a lot of stuff. But either way, that first game's gonna go to Dayquil. Yo Yo Master, uh, you know both of them. They're going in pretty hard right now. Yeah, that came down to the wire. Like, you really couldn't have had a closer match uh, with how that last one broke out. Right. Right. Master. Ooh, yeah, with, uh, looking, looking a lot more confident at the start Tails. of, uh, game two. Tails, no one needs that. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. Oh, holding down these, this air approach here, trying to prevent Yo-Yo Master from getting out of the corner. Honestly, Dayquil's doing a decent job of keeping Yo-Yo Master pinned down and not allowing Yo-Yo Master to move around so much. It's Bridget's, one of Bridget's strongest assets is all the movement capability, so. Being able to, to seal that off, good choice. Ooh, ooh, the tricky FRC to get in there and score the throw. Didn't get a ton off of the throw, but even just keeping up the pressure and keeping someone's mental stack shuffled is uh, pretty good there. Yeah, it's ooh. always important to keep in that mental stack uh, shuffled. Yep. Force break always jagged one, always there. to be a slight bit uncomfortable. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> a slight bit uncomfortable. <laughs> the bust out <laughs> is never. All right. <laughs> well, like it gets above where Roger's falling as well. So like oh, if Roger's sitting across the ground, you don't gotta worry about it. Oh, caught him. Yeah, really nice use of the force break oh. jagged Roger there. Oh, mistimed it though. Tried to go for the uh, hit with the overhead as well on the on the. Oh no! As I was thinking, oh, okay, they are, they, are good. They, they are looking good and playing good right now. Let's go. Yo, 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 master. Let's go. <laughs> I like that. The very, very last little bit of Roger sliding across the ground was able to touch Kai and hold down the block stun. And then yo, yo, master was able to come down and hit with the falling button. Timing was very, very tight there in particular, but it worked out. Able to go up a round over Dayquil. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Can't get that between, though. At least not, not from that distance. Maybe if, it, you know, they were both like, locked up position. Yeah, I took a swing at it, but it didn't quite work out. Dayquil, oh, it's kind of, you know, pressed on to uh, Yo-Yo Master. Yo-Yo master got the life lead right now. Got the tension game as well, you know, the, the tension advantage. So this is uh, looking really good for uh, Yo-Yo Master 23 in game two. Mm -hmm. Oh, caught yeah. Dayquil's air dash. And Dayquil's got a burst available as well, but like against Bridget, it's not, it's kind of hard to use effectively since Bridget's dance combos got... Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Now get Clipped that out of the great right ever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo-Yo Master dialing into where that Greed Sever is and able to snuff it out there by just going uh, all the way through with the Gatling string there and the 
placement of the normal, able to snuff out the greed setter and score a game. We're up. We got one game apiece here. This is the first uh, set that we're set so far on stream where we've had one game apiece. I think it might. Yeah, this is. This is. Yo, let's go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I guess Yo Yo Master saw how many uh, greed servers Ka uh, Kai has been getting away with on the stream so far. It's like, you know what? I'm not gonna. This is not gonna be my story. At least not this way. <laughs> not like this. I got more. I got more life to live. You can't get rid of me that easy. Nico with the nice pressure. Ooh, Ooh that's deep there. break. Oh, 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 that's break. how you feel. That's, yo, <laughs> tell me how you feel. Oh, that's how, yo. <laughs> oh, that hits with the uh, overhead and the kids by my heart. Hmm. I don't know about using burst. I don't know about using burst. Guilty scare. Bro's burst is just disrespectful. Let's go. <laughs> oh, the FRC off of that too to follow up with this pressure. Able to follow up with this combo rather, not pressure. We hidden. All right, Nima killing, killing machine. machine. Just yeah, you just kind of got to concede the turn there in most situations to Bridget, because Nima killing machine stays out there for a while. Damn, Zayquil not having fun oh, no more. Getting yo yo, it's, it's a child's game. I'm here with the sword. Oh my god, let's go. So yeah, Kai, Kai's not a king at this. Point. I'll, I'll talk about more stuff later. <laughs> wow, Roger just flew across the whole damn floor. Yo yo master with that. Great awareness in that confirmed. Now, now he's got Dayquil in the corner. Oh, how many, how many P's was that in that sequence? That like eight P's to hold down that Gatling screen all the way down to the floor. <laughs> Yo, it was looking hella melty blood with the jump. A A A A the cannonball. You know what I'm saying? He's guilty gearing right now. Oh, yeah. And oh, the overhead. Oh, can oh, you oh, oh, Roger, oh, rush! Oh, get punched! Oh, Damn, I gotta pay to get punched like a bear, punched by a bear like that usually. <laughs> oh, all right, Dayquil charge stun edge, hold me down. The stun dip for FRC. Oh, oh it's another creep sever. It's, it's away from the creep sever there. Getting up and above things there. Take close force in their way. They're just, they're just they're, there is no, this is my round. Oh, are you serious? That was an Yo. excellent use of Jagged Roger there to hold down that air approach there. Got the placement of it because the Jagged Roger non-force break moves towards Bridget. It was like 10 seconds ago. I'm sorry, it's out of everyone's heads already, but it was really pretty. Roger Fetch able to hit there. Okay, okay. Come on, take us to, take us to round three. I want to see it, Yo-Yo Master. Yeah, please don't, please don't get it. Yo, Dayquil is, yo, I'm scared. Jeff, this is definitely something going on right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, Clips! Man, look at that ass. Bear and a yo-yo. Oh. <laughs> nice stuff. Okay, last round, last game. We get into it here. Closest set of the game day so far. Let's do it. All right. Oh. Love things here. Charge stunage. Delayed wake yeah, up. Delayed timing. Oh. oh, yeah. The delayed wake up. My bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, the delayed wake up there uh, let it out, but... Oh, no! Oh. Okay. Didn't get punished that bad for the burst. Very lucky that they didn't get punished that bad for the burst there. Calls back there. Scores with the hit. With the recall hit. A lot Roger of bar available. Right now. Dayquil's got hella bar available, so we can see an mm -hmm. offensive burst here uh, once they can find some way to lock down all this movement from Yo-Yo Master. This Pops is how Zoners... Lightning too. This is how Zoners get you. Once they know that you're that you're really hungry for and that you're close to closing it out, oh, then then you're in the Zoners world. You gotta be able to keep your, keep your composure and don't let them get to you. Because they're gonna play on your human instinct and your, you know, like... Oh, yeah. With your nerves twitching and your, uh, you know, that's when the, uh, that's when the oh. pressure starts getting in, you know. Yeah, you're... especially the mobile zoners, not le less so the zoners that want to camp out. The mobile zoners, they love to do their runaway stuff. They, they love, oh, oh, here you go. No! Gosh, that's the... Just take the knockdown. Good, good, good. Just hold it down. Just isolate the movement. Don't, don't. Oh, yo, yo, master, run. Oh, no! With that the first. Idiot first. Oh, it's with the green sever. Oh, this is everything right now. You can't oh. let... God. You can't let Bridget out again! Oh what? No! Oh, my. No! Bridget got up and around to the other side. Couldn't have called oh, it any closer. The life bar is barely down. Bridget, you didn't have to hold the pose like that to finish it. Yo-Yo Master takes it 2-1 over Dayquil. Very, very close Yo. match though. Yo, that was... Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, plus our mad Kuso. Plus our is Kuso as hell. Oh, that's why we love it, though. We we need oh, we, yeah. need, we need that Kuso. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that was a uh, that was that was a really good set too. And honest, grounded, neutral. <laughs> <laughs> honest, grounded, neutral. Hella, uh, hella weed severs. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Oh, so our next AKA. match. <laughs> our next match. We got Heartwad going up against. Tails, who has entered as Anji's 6K is minus 10 on block. Please stop letting me get away with it. 
uh, which is true. Anji has a lot of funky buttons. But yeah, Tales of Dawn, uh, a New England stalwart going up against Heartwad, uh, bringing in their uh, Justice, I want to say Heartwad normally plays. I'm like 90% sure about that, right? Yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. It's Justice or... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Justice or Bike. Okay. Uh, yo, get these, two, get these two players out of the lobby. Y'all had your get time. Him out. Get him Y'all out had of your time. Get off get the him out of here. Man, man. Get, get the heck out of the lobby. Honestly, it happens at uh, at in-person locals too. You gotta tell people like, "Yo, take your post game out of here." <laughs> Talk about the match after, <laughs> outside, away from the station. Yeah, please get off the station. Go, 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 hug it out uh, somewhere else, please. <laughs> we got oh, matches to run. Yeah. All right, so we got Heartwad going up against Tails here. Heartwad gonna be uh, rocking that Justice. Tails gonna be rocking that Anji. Tails does have a couple of pocket characters, but I think Tails is pretty much running Anji uh, all the time now in bracket. Might does have a counter for soul but that's not what we're going to see here so we ain't going to worry about it yeah i, I, I doubt if we'll see that uh see that from them uh it's, it's actually is nuclear cheese here i didn't see nuclear cheese in the bracket which was a little bit of a heartbreaker i wanted to see Aww. some uh wanted to see some boom headshots definitely wanted to see uh see some of her play for sure Shout out to nuclear cheese. however though speaking of speaking of uh, swaggy soul players though we got jason wright going up against elven shadow possibly happening off stream but it's happening all right so anji if you're all if y'all are coming from strive uh, Anji, Anji in this game is a uh, very different beast than Anji in Strive. You're not going to see a typical Anji matchup here because having to deal with justice. As I say that, we get the Fujin right through. Let's go. Uh oh, it's Fujin time. All right, so Fujin here in this game, if you're coming from, once more coming from Strive, that thing is a straight up horizontal BP. It's not that it has an auto guard option or it can do a dance into it or anything like that. That is just a horizontal DP that has really damaging follow ups. God, yo, Tails with the clapping, like, please. <laughs> oh, right? Tails, Tails is ready to play the guilty gear plus R. Oh. <laughs> All right. Back at it here. So Justice, we got the nukes on screen here. Uh, can get all those on, but so long as Tails can keep those away, can, can stop Heartwad from getting those up. Oh, apparently our stream might be small. I don't know if we can check that out and fix that. I'll let uh, JMD, our stream runner, take care of it. We'll get y'all sorted here though. All right, Force Break uh, Rin tries to get in there. Gets with the Fusion, gets burst off. Much closer round this time through. Yeah, Heartwad had to definitely uh not not get ran over like that first round but you know you're fighting you're fighting tails extremely oh, strong yeah. player and you know definitely been getting better as That's the game has been going on too no oh, not so quite, close. Not quite. oh what oh run it back run it back no no please oh yeah let's go Just, Bro, is this dead, That's That's dead. dead. That's dead. That's dead. Oh, yo Heartwad in there barely stealing it like just came down to it all right oh all right mm. This is kind of how you have to fight the, the Justice matchup, though. Like, you can't really afford to hang back and let Justice get time Ooh. to set up. So, like, even if it looks risky, you, you kind of got to make your moves. Oh, put that meaty nuke on uh, Tails, too. Oh, Michael Blake. Oh, yo, my oh. Wife, not, not playing around. This is this is tough for Tails now. Tails got to find their way back in here. Yeah, this is definitely win condition for um, for Justice. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, yeah. that was it. Oh, Tails. Yeah, FRC. Oh, yeah, 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 got you. And you know, Heartwad's gonna go for gold or something soon. Oh, all right. Well, not not quite, but you know, still good. Okay, don't get shot, Tails. Don't get shot. Going. Oh, with those going FRCs away. too. Nice. Turn around, a meter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a That'll fun. do it. Heartwad uh, takes game one there after Tails looking very convincing in round one. So and. Uh, Part of this too with Justice as well, when you see those FRC nuke placements, it's deceptively mindful when you do those because of the way Justice works, all of those nukes are a negative edge. So the nukes are traveling for as long as the button is held down. And so if you FRC that, that means you can't be using the same button that you're holding down for your FRC uh, input. So it ends up being very deliberate usage of your fingers and how you want to pattern out your nukes. So though, when you see these FRCs from Justice players, if they're being really consistent with it, as well as with their placement, it's more impressive than it looks in the game. Hmm. You know, Harwan taking that first game over Tails. All right. Oh, no. The Tails don't get shook. Oh, Tails no. Getting a, a, a bursting early. Oh, this is a... Ooh. Oh, oh, throwing the Fujin hard block. Wow. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Excuse. Really? Oh. What? Oh. What is this combo? Wait. Oh my God. Hard one. I've never seen that. That was incredible. The, like, the back part of it was a black jaw. No. Sure. Damn. Why the burst? Oh, why? That was not. Nah, that. Nah, nah. All right, Tails is not here right now. Somebody, please, right now. somebody, please clip that combo from uh, from Heartwad. That was incredible. 
Yo, yo, just, yo, Hartwad's looking like Hotel right now. Oh, 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 oh my God! Oh my came to oh. play. Oh, again? Give, give us some more. <laughs> oh no, Tails is trying so hard right now, but this is not going their way. There's, okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh. chance. Here we go. This is this is how it can start now. Because once Tails can get in, it can hold us down. If, uh oh, okay, okay. okay. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, oh, catches the, uh oh, catches the tech, here's the red butterfly, uh oh, yeah, uh -oh. I, I tried to escape no, it. No, That's really uncharacteristic. Oh, so many drops. Alright, Tails, Tails, gotta breathe, just gotta breathe. Definitely feeling the, uh, Oh, those FLC right nukes. Now. Oh, the nukes, yeah, the nukes bombs and the butterfly, and oh, got it! it. Oh, no. There's so oh. many conversions that are just not working out for Tails that are so no. close. Oh, no. Wow, that block. It's going on! Go, no. go! That's a heartbreaker for Tails. There were so many, there were so many close moments where the confirm just didn't work out, like where they were just barely too high for the Rin to hit. And yeah, someone said it in chat, and that's that's probably a bit of an upset, I think, unless like oh, their historical yeah, matches. Definitely a well, as far as far as uh, the history shows, it's definitely an upset. That's a really tough break for uh, for Tails there. But uh, well played to Heartwad though. Heartwad was playing very on. Oh. Okay. Haven't lost to Tails before? Okay, not an upset, apparently. According oh, to it's, oh, okay, so, so okay, okay. Uh, Heartwad is, uh, so heart is Tails' bracket demon, got you. Okay. Ah, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> got you, got I, can, right. I can see that too, because uh, the way some of the stuff with Anji versus Justice works out, that can totally make sense to me. Either way, though, it was very unfortunate for the way some of that stuff broke out, though. Like, there were multiple yeah. times where the Rin hit, or sorry, the, the Fujin hit, but then Rin was just not quite high enough to pick up on the uh, extension there. But yeah, very well played to Heartwad. That one combo was incredible. Uh, that was really cool to see. So, tough break to Tails. Very strong player. I'm sure we'll see some uh, some more progress from them in the lower half of the bracket. But uh, time will time will tell. Much like my favorite song uh, in uh, Metal Gear Solid Five for the helicopter to pick me up. Only time will tell. <laughs> All right, let's get into this next match though. We got Power Orange. Power Orange. Who are you gonna be fighting? Power Orange versus Tip Me. Tip Me. Oh, All right. Tip me another regular joiner for the uh, for the Boston Blue Beat when you're running that online. Oh yeah, Tip me's definitely one of the regular, the, the usual suspects, if you will. Oh, we got another Bridget. Yep, another Bridget in a uh, cliff. Now that's interesting. So Cliff doesn't have the best mobility, with the exception of a couple moves. But Cliff's, uh, well, he doesn't have the most flexible mobility. He can uh, control. There are some ways that Cliff can move around the screen, but he's not moving the way that Bridget is moving. Uh, and Cliff's buttons can cover a lot of the screen and can do hella damage. Mm -hmm. So this is definitely a case of if, if Cliff gets a you know gets a hit on Bridget, for sure, like can stun Bridget really quick. Yeah. Oh yeah, and the and the the, the Cliff uh, database has been has been updating since uh, Plus R came out as uh, with the rollback update as well. A lot. So yeah. Oh, nice throw tech. Nice yeah. However, though, whenever I see a Bridget player get a throw or a throw tech, though, I'm like, who are you just trying to play? Wow, what a good pick up from Tiffany. Oh, oh yeah, that with the words. Really oh, Yo, speak to him. Speak to him. Oh, dead. You are dead. Power Orange misses the tech on that last hit there and dies for it. Tough break, but yeah. I see the name Power Orange. I think of a uh, Orange Range uh, asterisk. <laughs> that's what my brain goes to automatically. <laughs> There's your anime reference, guys. <laughs> oh, I'm sure that'll be the last one of the night. I'm totally sure. <laughs> All right, Jagged Roger, they're holding Ooh, it down, catching the fourth break. Top. Top. In the corner. Yeah, get the FRC off the Friday. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, looks like we got the name swapped here. There we go. Hit that Corrected. guy on your little boy. <laughs> what you? I don't care. I'm Cliff. And I'll put you in. A... What is this? It's a dragon sword, right? I, th I, th I think. Oh, Cliff sword is, uh, <laughs> pretty sure it's like a legendary weapon. I did not did not know what that voice was there for a second. It took me a second to figure to, to realize that was you doing an old man voice. Yeah, okay. that was my old man Jenkins voice. Gotcha, gotcha. T -t 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 old man Merrick. <laughs> Back right. in my day, kids, you had to manually input your things. You couldn't do three three dragon punch, punch for a dragon punch. You had to actually do six two three. 
All right, we got the names. Uh, name side. Names got swapped again. Yo, three, three dragon punches. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. SF4 was already on another stream. Go, go watch that one. We're, we're, we're in some guilty gear right now. All right, we got words on the screen here. Cliff's I was words. just saying words just like Cliff. <laughs> yeah. Cliff's words are, uh, well, I, I believe they're RNG for their shapes, so you can get better, uh, better uh, Oki off of certain word combos than others. Weird. Swinging in here, though, and you can see this, too, what we were mentioning a little bit earlier, how much damage Cliff does and the fact that Bridget bleeds. Like, look at this. Oof, rough. And that was half of a throw, too, I think. That was a good word sequence to for Tiffany. Jagged Roger, holding down some uh, block pressure there. Oh. Force break, Jagged Roger, tracks to the opponent. Jagged Roger by itself, tracks to break. I just wanted to mention, uh, Tip Niza, Abare has been almost immaculate this whole set. <laughs> like, everything has been confirming into something. Uh, mm -hmm. That's definitely been doing wonders for Tip Niza, as they're sitting on set point right now against uh, Power Orange uh, Bridget. Oh, catching with the sweep? That cliff sweep is uh, surprisingly good. Uh, it's like both his 5D and his 2D are very good. All right? Power Orange here trying to figure out how to deal with this 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 angry old man. Stop praying for my grandpa. Too strong. <laughs> Coming in swinging. Cliff with the recall. Oh. Cliff don't care, though. Bring Cliff in closer. Oh. It's what he wants. Oh, nice. Uh, catching with the chop. Oh, oh. We got this full combo? Oh, oh. Oh, stop, Tip. With the dust combo as well. Going to get the don't full extension out of this. Not don't quite. Tip me. How about that? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> tip me. Don't, don't, don't tip me. Tip them. 20% or more, please. Tip me. Taking it 2 0 over Power Orange. Mm -hmm. All right. We got Wimble and Pandabetic, one of our commentators uh, who's been featured on some of these. Uh, some of these Neo Reloaded events are well featured. Not sure if they uh, commentated just yet. Well, Pandabetic, good fr good friend of folks. Oh, yeah, that's, up on that's stream here. Fam. Shout out to Pandabetic. You're, you already know. Wimble. I think I'm pretty sure I've seen Wimble play before. Wimble went over Spooky Blast earlier. So Wimble's uh, Wimble's showing up with some stuff here. We saw Spooky Blast on stream a little earlier. So, you know, seeing uh, if Wimble was able to uh, overcome Spooky Blast, must, must be coming in with something. Do we know mm. where Wimble comes from? If anybody knows anything about Wimble, give us the sure. shout, give us the lore. Yeah, but right now we're gonna have Dizzy versus Faust, and this is oh, that's uh, what we got. That's how I know Wimble. Okay. This uh, this matchup it, it can be a little rough for Dizzy because um, you know although yeah her um her summons are really good and everything, but Faust's damage output is just so uh, it's so high. So if he you know he, he gets a touch, it's pretty much like D Dizzy has to just be at, be at his mercy. But you know if you got this situation right here, this, this isn't too bad for Dizzy. Yeah, and Dizzy also. Uh, Dizzy also has one of the lower Dizzy modifiers or Dizzy thresholds in the game as well. So if Panda Bedic's able to get a couple of uh, juicy hits there, that could be a Dizzy and end of the round for uh, Wimble. See how this goes though. Okay, bomb back from Panda Bedic. Ooh, nice 2K. Good sequence. All right, bomb out on the field here, blocks it. Ooh, Ooh Panda Bedic nice hits with the overhead. Big oh, damage off of that. Back. Oh. Oh. And also, also big ups to Wimble using the uh, best dizzy color, my favorite in the game. However, it did not did not uh, give you any strength there, Pandabetic taking round one. It matters not in this game. <laughs> Yo, people got some opinions about Wimble. The Wimble supporters, Wimble haters, damn. Lots of the overhead, getting pushed into the corner here. Ooh. Oh, oh, towards the throw. Okay, here you go. This is what you need. This is how you get your party started. Nice right. Oh, the gold burst from Panda Bedic. Nice. Nice. Yeah, gold burst if you know where the gap is in the dizzy sequence and you, or you have a good idea where it's coming from. Not a bad option just to get her off of you and get out of stuff. Although I wonder if the fish would eat the burst as well and not hit dizzy as well, since that fish eats so much. All right, hits with the uh, ice. Let's go. J2S, oh, nice and low range, followed up by the JH. That JH is like a level five, level, level five or a level four button. I can't remember which one. But her JH has gobs of hit stun though, so it allows Ooh, a lot of nice stuff. Nice air block uh, against the, the air, the air bag. Nice block on the six H. Okay, yeah. Wimble uh, getting used to uh, Faust's animation. Miss that? I cannot believe that that that, that far range ice didn't hit there. Ooh, taking oh, a bite out of Panda. Oh, oh, ooh, ooh, yeah. with the ice FRC as well. That FRC is hard to hit too, oh, since the uh, timing of it gets weird depending on hit stop. Oh. Very nice right, stuff. Panda Medic. What you got? What you got, Young Panda? 
Don't, don't, don't get out. Oh, out. God, you got yeah. four straight Kobo. Oh, Ooh. you got four straight Kobo. Oh, you got scalpel for. Oh, bam no, on that. Hit oh. her with the nest. Do the stun. Yeah, hit the overhead. Yeah, yeah that's, that, that's this matchup. Like, literally, that whole set was this matchup. Like, Wimble was uh, <laughs> playing Ooh. the good, <laughs> had the good set play and had the good knees and everything, but just one good hit, you know, in, in two, two sequences, Faust can just, you know, he just dizzies. Dizzy. <laughs> Yo, who's the other player? Who, who's, who's joining too early? Please. Oh, snap. We, we, got, we got a new warrior. Oh, it's Jason, it's Jason Riot. Get out of here. I was like, get out of here, Daredevil. Joe Biden, is it? Uh, no, nah, I didn't see Biden in the bracket, unfortunately. Yeah. Tough break, but so it goes. All right. Wimble and Pandabetic back at it. Let's go. So that's game one to Pandabetic. Mm. Wimble, though, was looking real strong until the very end there. But that's what I was talking about, though. Dizzy gets uh, gets bear stunned. I think the, ter the term is bear stunned in this game, not just Dizzy. And, eh, question mark. But yeah, uh, she gets bear stunned really, really easily compared to a lot of other characters. And Faust can dish that out there. So Pandabetic going for the uh, plunger super there just to get to the Dizzy state. Pretty smart call there to end out that last match. All right, clips the fish there. Try to get on in. Oh, punishes the item tall too for Panabetic. That was really good from Lincoln. Oh, nice. I like the use of the double laser on the fish there okay. to uh, hold down the full screen uh, offense. That was really, really nice there. Good foresight. Oh, blocks the force break Pogo. Good stuff. Oh, jumping out the flower. Yeah, not staying grounded. Good 5k from Panabetic. Oh, getting a good sequence. Okay. Oh, going my... Disney unblockable. Uh, proximity unblockable, yeah. Not going all the way. Ah, no, no, no. Hack and slash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to keep up with everything. It's just... There's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> Honestly, this, this, this stage is kind of rough on my eyes with this fast color. But... All right. Oh, another force, force break, break door. door. Honestly, force break door is probably a really good call in this matchup, just be, just by virtue of being able to get around Dizzy Fish and just change location. Mm-hmm. Um, nice. Even though Wimble's been doing really good, the Panabetic is definitely on that point right now. And, oh, wow, that combo! A really good second round, uh, game two. This is a almost a textbook Dizzy round in a lot of ways. Well, it was. Yeah, it was definitely was. Mm, I don't know if I grew that burst of Panabetic. Yeah. Yeah, that was definitely a bit of a hero burst. You can't afford it, but you're not gonna get your burst back until the end of the like near the end of the round. So we'll see how yeah. it plays out, though. We'll see how it plays out. And against like other characters, you might be able to be like, okay, let me stall for a little bit to get my burst back up before I engage too hard. But against Dizzy, I don't really feel like you can give her that room. As I say this, then. Oh, nice and confirm. Okay, good luck. Ooh, six P. Oh, the bubble. Ooh, trade, trade off the bubble. Yeah. So that bubble there. For anybody who doesn't know, the bubble, if uh, the regular bubble does not go active unless Dizzy pops it, uh, Dizzy or the fish has to hit it. Uh, the pink bubble uh, will uh, uh, track, but the other ones uh, will only go along its trajectory. That was a bad time for that info drop. I apologize, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Wimple, uh, with, the, with the, uh, the super attempt, the Panabetic being in the air and away from that face here, uh, the Panabetic needs to relax a bit on the bomb back. I feel like he's definitely mm, going. Going out of it out of nervousness, maybe to try to, yeah, just maybe hey. trying to throw Wimble off, but it's not really working three? out too well. Uh, ooh, ooh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nice yeah. attempt there, though, with the. Oh, uh, it said download logo. complete at the top left. I don't know if y'all saw that. Hold on. Hold on, Pandabetic. The download is not complete. Let's go. Oh, wait, uh. Yo, who are these mystery people? Please. <laughs> I don't. Uh, yeah, uh, Power Orange joined the lobby again. It definitely was not. Nah, that's not Power Orange. That's somebody else. That is that is another Bridget player. We get, we're we're up to here with Bridget players this time. Oh, that was a. Uh, no, nah, that was the uh, uh, Yo Yo Master. Oh, that's Yo Yo Master again. Ah, there it is. There it is. There it is. My bad. My bad. Thank you all. Wow. So damn. Can, we, we, commentating Guilty Gear is hard. <laughs> tell tell these people. Well, yo, chat's, chat's <laughs> blowing me up for this. <laughs> that was... That, I'm that trying, was yo. Yo, yo, master. I'm trying my best. All right, we got Wimble on the left, Pandavetic on the right, 1-1. One, one. Mm -hmm. And good adjustment from Wimble. And, you know, again, I, I definitely would like Pandavetic to just slow it down just a little bit and not do too many things to uh, make themselves, uh, you know, giving themselves, like, real, like, just free space to get punished. Yeah, we saw that use of the coffin. I see people calling it the coffin super earlier too. The coffin super uh, doesn't have any invincibility once the uh, flash is 
the invincibility on that one is a little less than you might think, so you can often clip her out of it once the flash is in, once the flash is over, uh, which is what we saw happen a little bit earlier. In that. But we'll get back into this match right now. Oh, oh get yeah. hit by the bomb! That was a that was a weird committal to that um, to the icicle there uh, with the bomb right next. It's up and above it. Nice. Ooh. Wimble was Wimble thought to go in after the fish there. Panda Bedic had the read on it, did the jump back, then did the 2K to catch the forward attempt to go in behind the fish. That was a really heads up uh, choice there from Panda Bedic. Good, good stuff. And that leads him to the set point once again. And, uh, starting around, with a nice back dash. Keep that space. Okay. More bomb bag. All right. All right. Okay, yes, yes, that was a lot better. It's in. Robo, mini Robokai gets a pickup there to create a weird, uh, weird, weird tech situation there. Ooh. Nice. Oh, nice. Pandabetic oh. feeling it now. Oh, he's in there. Uh oh. He's in there. He's in there. Uh -oh. Go, Let's don't go. get nervous, Wimble. Oh. Oh, wow, I don't know about that burst there. Mm, the combo was already over there, though. We definitely know, we know about that burst, but we like that burst well. Oh, no! Panda, please! <laughs> Panda, no, don't! Oh, good use of the negative edge uh, daggers there. Uh, I like that, holding it down until oh, there's no. the... Oh, my God, no. if that confirmed would have worked off the bubble, crashed back in after the dagger toss! That was so good! <laughs> the pressure was... <laughs> oh, get it! Oh. I'm sorry. I gotta be biased. I'm seeing my favorite Dizzy Color on screen. I'm living vicariously right now. But Faust is losing and my favorite Dizzy Color? Come on. Hit, with, hit her with the Super Smash Brothers. Ness is coming out to play. And we got the items on the screen. Damn, this character is Super Smash Brothers. Okay. <laughs> with the hammer. Yo, we got the dare too with the Force Break Pogo. <laughs> Get off me. <laughs> that angle. Okay, when right. oh another air throw. Yes, cool. Air throws have been ridiculous. Oh no! Yeah, that grab was Never. so good. Here comes the fish. What's it gonna be? Nice. Gets the jump cancel off the 2K. Comes in, able That's afterwards. Not things. able to kill here. Fish is on the screen here. One more touch will do uh -oh. it. Catches with the low. That's it. Wimble Damn runs it. Brings it back from death's door of the of the previous of that round one and able to take two rounds in a row and take it over Panda Bedic. Panda Bedic sent to the lower half of the bracket by Wimble. Extremely well played from both players. The the uh, air throws from Wimble in there. There were some incredible air throws, and it's. You don't want to be playing the air throw game with Dizzy for a couple of different reasons, uh, least of which being that J2S. But then on top of that, it worked out very, very well for Wimble multiple, multiple times. Yeah, Wimble, very well played. Nice, we got the raid too. Thank you, I Redman. Oh, that must be coming off of the uh, Street Fighter 4, I think. And thank you all for joining us now. If you are just joining us, we are doing some Guilty Gear Plus R. We are running through the bracket currently. For Neo Reloaded, we got a match Reno code. Y'all can hit while we are in between matches here. My name is Swell. I'm here with Milky J. And uh, we are we are thrilled to bring you and be the voices for your New England Online Reloaded Tournament. Right, and uh, and I, Redman, raiding with the party of 23. Thank you so much, Redman. Definitely appreciate it. <clears throat> yeah, let's get, let's get it here. Share the link out, get some more viewers on here. We're not to the finals just yet, but we'll be there real soon. We got some more action coming. We just had some very nice play from uh, Wimble and Pandabetic, which was uh, damn. That was a close match. Uh, Pandabetic though almost had it, but Wimble able to come out on top. Yeah, just a, a, little, a little, a little bit too many. You know, just uh, unfortunately a little bit too many mistakes. And uh, Wimble, you know, just keeping that all. You know, being the you know the more composed player in that set yeah. at that time. And, and, and you know that that's that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. And uh, also all for all those that just uh, rated and uh, waiting for us. If y'all could please use that Maturino, uh, that mat claim that code, the Maturino, we definitely please appreciate it. Get please. all these, uh, get these plays played out. You know what I mean? Let's do it. We got Elvin Shadow versus Jason Riot coming up next here. So we oh, got let's go. Faust versus Soul. Jason Riot been playing like a beast lately. Elvin Shadow, the legend, should be a nice match here. So please stay tuned, and we'll have that for you momentarily. Mm -hmm. And of course, we also got some other uh, match, other events going on as part of Neo Reloaded. Uh, I. I know we have more events going on tomorrow. I think we might have somebody else coming up after us uh, on... Or there's a, at least one more bracket, I think, coming up uh, today. But uh, tomorrow's going to be Strive as well as a couple of other games. So if you're interested, please check out Neo Reloaded. You can get more info on that by following Casa Bunch, Boston Bluebeak, or Trace Complete uh, for more info on all that stuff. Yep, yep. Whew. Voice is getting and, tired. I forgot yeah, how exciting yeah. plus our commentary is. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you're excited because I, I I was just like I don't know if, if uh, I'm, I'm talking if I'm talking too little for for them this time, but you know I guess you know my my, my everyone knows that my excitement gets I, I get a little 
Oh shit, we're in the match! Sorry, mm -hmm. I said shit, y'all. I'm excited. Alright, Hunter Shadow versus Jason Bryant. Let's go. <laughs> Jason's excited with too. With a wild throw! that round start? <laughs> not, right. letting, not letting uh, Elven Shadow breathe at all. I'm trying to ooh, stay in right? his face. I got that dark blue soul too. I like it. I like it. What a what a pickup from Elven Shadow on that um on that situation. 2D. Jason nice. Ryan optimizing the most out of that. Oh, oh hits a force break. Really gets a pickup off of that? Okay, we knew he was gonna check out there, so that's fair. Nice FRC Gunflame there, able to follow up and get the get some damage on top of it. I'm pretty sure if you're Elven right now, their danger their danger meter is uh, going off the whole time during this set because Jason Rye is definitely out to kill you. <laughs> oh yeah, but like, there's like so many like small things too. Like you're seeing these like itty bitty FD attempts from uh, Jason Riot too. So like you know this player is just like on top of it. Dude. Yeah, like right there you see these itty bitty blips of the FD being used. However, that being said, it is draining away mm. that meter. Oh, okay. use of the burst way up there. Nice. Okay. Ooh, nice move. Really? It's Riot. Ooh. Bandit bringers under it. Oh, oh nice. So precise. It's so cool. I like this, Jason yeah, yeah. Riot being real, real mindful of oh. every single bit of movement here. Because mm -hmm. like it's one of those things too, where like you mentioned this earlier, where you know you're gonna fight Elven Shadow at some point in a bracket if you've been uh, keeping up with Plus R and you're trying to get strong. Yeah, you definitely gotta be ready to fight. Oh Elven no! Shadow, Joe Biden, uh, uh, Skeleton, Minion, you know, uh, Nodge. You got you. You gotta be ready to fight these people. You ain't ready, you're gonna get snuck up on. Oh, and the 2D gonna go oh. into the drill. 2D into the throw? Okay, not able to get too much else out of it there. Bennett Revolver's in. Meteor's coming in. Uh, tried to run underneath Faust there to get to the other side, but it didn't work out. Oof. Oh, Elven, dang. Nice Elvin's got, I think Elvin's got it figured out now. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see, though. Oh, tried Jason to riot playing stomp. a bit too passive. Probably needs to you know, take a risk or two. Yeah, I can see a kill in the tension game there. We see this being pointed out in chat. I was talking about the there's a lot of use of FD going on here from uh, Jason Riot and uh, Omega Omega Tom Hanks bringing out that, that that'll uh, kill your tension game, which is problematic. And a strong strong player will know how to abuse that. Mm -hmm. And you can see it too, like just in the way that the meter distribution is working out uh, in the match. All right, bomb on the field here gets above it, tossing that love. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Robo Kai hits with the scalpel pull afterwards as well. Or sorry, mini Robo Kai, and then hits with the scalpel pull, and that'll do it for game one. Elven Shadow. Jason Riot just right back to it. Give me more. Extremely <laughs> surgical with that uh with that set right there. No, not not looking like <laughs> not looking like they played any bit of strive at all. <laughs> <laughs> just getting right back into it. Okay. Elven Shadow on the left. Jason Riot on the right. Yeah, but I would definitely like to see Jason take a bit more risk, like doing like a ground viper. So you know, like a, a six P. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, a six P. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, my, my my brain doesn't know how to deal with Elvin not on the green Faust. This is this is very strange to me. I understand it happens, but woof. All right, bomb yeah. hits both. Ooh, okay. She got another kill hit. <laughs> this is this is missing number, uh, Bozak. Missing, <laughs> <laughs> oh, missing, yeah. missing Nozak. <laughs> missing Nozak. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're there. It is. <laughs> it, right. All right. Mini Faust. <laughs> Mini Faust hits. Uses the burst to get away from it. There. Tries to avoid the poison cloud. Has to kind of modify the movement there to uh, stay up and away from it. Oh, okay. Elvin fishing with some buttons there. Hits with the scalpel pull. Oh. Pulls through the bomb. Yeah. Able to get the pickup after the bomb hit. Mm, Force yeah. break pogo. Oof, All that damage. Yeah, I would definitely like to see, uh, you know, Jason Riot going for Ground Viper on the far slash attempts and the uh, scalpel pull. No, uh, yeah, three hits that the mini Potemkin stays out there for. So this is real trouble for Jason. Got to get out the corner right now because this is. Oh no, nah, this is. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Out, out, out. Okay, then a revolver. Six P. Ah. Damn, this looking real. It was looking okay at the start for Jason Riot, but getting worse and worse. Ooh, the missing bomb. Nozak RNG. Oh, missing Nozak. Put it back. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you know, he punished the the DP got punished while they were in while they were getting hit by the DP. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Faust. What a character. But of course, Elven Shadow, also an absolute beast of a player. So don't don't get it twisted here. However, tough break for Jason Riot. Since the lower half of the bracket, Elven Shadow punches their ticket for top eight. Yep, not, oh yeah, know. Wimble's in top eight too. I didn't think about that. That was a top eight qualifying match for Wimble versus Pandabetic. 
So we got Dizzy and uh, Faust so far. And, you know, it, you see Elven Shadow on the bracket, you're typically not surprised to see, see his name in the mm -hmm. top eight, you know. All right, so. we've got some... Let's uh, take a look at the lower half of the bracket here and catch y'all up on what's gone down here. Skeletal Minion's been tearing through people in the lower half. Uh, oh, Fleck Maniac, tough break. Fleck Maniac, another another person in the New England scene, got Skeletal in uh, first round of Losers, which is a mm, that's a tough break. So yeah, uh, that'll be Skeletal. Skeletal's advancing through the lower half of the bracket. Uh, Pandabetics got Tommy Gun. We got oh Rumper, who we saw a little bit earlier on Robokai, went over Lem, and is cruising through and still alive. Then Tails has Yellow JL. I don't know if I recognize Yellow JL, but the winner of that will get Jason Riot. And uh, Skeletal went over Vicky Viper to keep advancing. All right, back to the next match, though. We got Tip Me going up against Yo-Yo Master. If you want the bracket, I'll drop that link for you. Blammo. Into the action. Let's go. All right, we saw this matchup play out a little bit earlier as well. Uh, so... Yeah, wait, was it Tip Me that we saw fighting Bridget earlier? So this is Tip Me's second Bridget match? Hmm, might be. All right, Jagged Roger. Oh, this is Yo-Yo Master and Tip Me, right? All right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was saying, uh, I think this might be the second Bridget that uh, Tip Me fought, because I know we saw Cliff versus Bridget earlier. It was uh, Power, uh, Power Orange. That was it. Oh, damn, that charge 6H is so much damage. Nice. Gone. Yeah, blocking the cliff dust is a lot is tricky because the startup of the cliff dust looks the exact same as Cliff's crouch animation. So you kind of have to see and feel that it's coming. It's it's really weird to block. All right, Jagged Roger there, cl clipping. Ooh, cliff riding the riding the sword pony in doesn't quite work out. Taunt on the screen, trying to get the lock on. Here your master is. No luck. Oh, nice use of the recall and the halt there. Right, Jagged Rider cruising <laughs> on through, hits with the overhead. He's just, he's just jump punching in the air. <laughs> right, just trying to swat out this annoying, uh, this annoying gnat flying around here. Oh, nice, Roger Git is able to work for confirm there. Oh, Blackie combo too. Didn't need to let that, let that, let that oh. happen. Oh, that's a tough break for Tip Me there. Mm -hmm. I mean, Bridget was pretty full on health there, so like, I see why maybe you're kind of like mentally tapped out there because it's like exhausting to consider fighting that character down. But at the same time, though, Cliff can do so much damage. But tough break for Tipney there, but one round apiece, hardly out of it just yet. Yeah. Okay. Yo Yo Master's uh getting pretty much tied it up now, winning. Got the uh got the tension advantage as well too. Oh tip me now, that was that was rough burst. Definitely not a not a rational burst at all. Oof. And that's the that's the you know, this these are the mistakes that Bridget forces you to do, you know? Yeah. Doing those type of things. Hits with the overhead, kicks out my heart. Gonna be able to take the round here. Oh, maybe not. This, oh no! Just barely out of range for the OTG for the pickup. Oh, wow. Oh, runs into the Jagged Roger as well. That's really, really rough for Tip Me. Yo-Yo Master coming out and doing in some work. This is the first time I've seen Yo-Yo Master play, and they, uh, no, it's cool, cool to see. Feel like uh, feel like I've seen Yo Master play before, but it, maybe it's been such a while. Can't remember. Yeah, definitely my first time. Either way, though, tip me, strong player, might be able to make this work out and uh, change the momentum here. Yeah, 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 I definitely, I definitely see, foresee tip me. We got player not, side not swap. Not easy. We got a player side swap as well. So, just be mindful of where your eyes are going. Ooh. Disconnected. Oh. DC. Tough break. Oh. Gonna have both players uh, try to reconnect again. You know, while we're getting this reconnected here, uh, just to point out, so much love to the team that's been doing all the updates to Plus R. This game is becoming one of the best fighting game packages that I think exists uh, for the PC. Just in terms of the, the lobby structure, all of the training mode features, and they keep updating it and keep making improvements. It's it's honestly astounding to a degree. So like, even though there was that DC that occurred there, so much love to the team that, that keeps updating this game. I want to oh, say yeah, it's- Oh yeah, absolutely. I want to say it's ca team uh, French Cali first. I'm like 90% sure. Let's rock. All right, let's get into it. What we got here, Tiffany? 
Ooh. Tiffany's uh definitely trying to keep that gap uh super close. Yeah, not All trying right, to. Alright, gets in. Oh, not able to get the pickup though. Alright, yo, yo, master. Oh wow. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yo, what All up, right, skeletal? Cool. Hope your bracket run's been going okay so far. Yo. Hope you be Donzai in some fools. Alright, Roger scores a knockdown there. Cross the other side with the JD, able to get a hit out of it. Mm -mm. Oh, that's a real that's real rough. Oh, Dang. Roger, yeah, Roger coming in right behind Tiffany. Oh, Dang okay. Roger, the party breaker. All right, caught the burst. Oh, no. I was going to say, Damn. even though Tiffany has so much meter, uh, like, Yo-Yo Master is just doing uh, a really good job at uh, not giving Tiffany, like, many opportunities to, like, use all that meter at once. Oh, the stagger, oh, the stagger allowing enough time for Yo-Yo Master to get up close afterwards from the, from the Roger game. Okay, okay. Jagger Roger Roger's going, going in again. There. Roger is doing work this set. Oh god, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't know if it's that Yo-Yo Master has, like, is ready for the cliff match, or if Tiffany is having trouble with the Bridget match, because this seems like... This seems astoundingly difficult for Cliff to deal with. Yeah, this didn't look like a Power Orange versus a Tip Me did not look like this at all. That's a tough break for Tip Me. 2 0 in Yo Yo Master's favor. Damn, tough break for Tip Me, uh... but so it goes. Yo Yo Master, I believe, uh, gets, slides on into top eight with that. Yeah, they're going, they're going into top eight with that. That was Ooh. pretty great. <laughs> yeah, you're. Uh, that was a little, was a little like that, wasn't it? Yo, Yo, Master gets a, gets. Hey, look, I don't want to call, I don't want to call that out on the street. <laughs> you do you. Yo, Yo, Master is uh, gonna get Elven Shadow uh, as a reward for their troubles, and I think we're gonna have Heartwad and Garbage. I'm guessing for our last match to see who gets in the top eight on the winner's side. Let me see if I can scrounge up who we got coming. We'll get it here in a minute. While y'all are here, uh, thank you for joining us. If you haven't already, hit up that match arena. That's a. That's there. It's free. It can you can contribute with a code. Can we cash out all of these codes stream? I bet we can. We definitely How many codes can. we got? How many codes we got left? We got 17 codes left. We got oh, 81 we got 81 on. viewers and we got 17 codes left. If we can come on now. Please stream. Please stream. I don't know what you want. Can I put, I don't I don't know what I can say I'll do if we get a, if we get more money. If we can cash out all those codes, I'll throw in another small amount myself directly if y'all can do it. So, come on. Come on. Make it happen, please, folks. For now, though, we got some other cool stuff going on. Boston Blue Beat Extend is going to be happening January 8th and 9th in 2022. So that'll be early, early next year. They got the entire balance patch venue for two days, and they're running tons of games. They got BBCF, BB Tag, Exerd, Plus R, Strive, GVVS, Melty Type Lumina, as well as uh, Old Melty, Uniclear, TFH, and Skullgirls. So, like, yeah, that's happening in January. It'll be chilly, but, you know, it's nice to see. Get, get, get warmed up by playing with your fellows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, that was Wimble who went over Skeletal early on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, we might see the run back between those two. Oh, they're having friendly chats here. I want to see the run back. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, we will have Heartbot and Garbage coming up for our next match here. waiting on garbage coming on in and also if you don't want to wait until if you don't want to wait until y'all are in, in january and you want to have some offline action in the new england area hmm? so sorry uh, uh, <laughs> i got a, i got voice of god in my ear there for a moment sorry folks uh september 25th is the next offline monthly happening at platinum city gaming uh, and that's, uh, you can find out more about that in the, uh, New England Anime FGC Discord. Uh, if you ask someone in the chat for a link if you're interested, I'm sure they'll have that. And that's happening on September 25th. Uh, all, all your favorite anime games will be being played there. Whew. Damn. Too much plus R action. Like, like my heart rate, like, spikes <laughs> when commentating this game, and then once I don't have plus R in front of me, and, like, my heart rate starts to dip. <laughs> but we got our match coming up now, so my heart rate gonna jump right back up. We got you garbage. To, 
need the little, you know, the breathers. You need the breathers. Well, you know, it's, no, yeah. no, just keep it going. <laughs> just keep it going. That's how you go to a fast grave. <laughs> go till I'm, go till I pass out. I ain't got time. <laughs> Nobody got time. Nobody got time to breathe. What is that? Breathe. Oh damn, we got it disconnected. Uh, we had both players in. We got garbage on Holy Order Soul. Heartwad on Justice had a DC. We'll get back into it. We'll get you some action. All right. So we're going to have Wota, a.k.a. A Heartwad versus Garbage, a Haas. So these are two, I would definitely say, uh, Boston Bloopy regulars. Uh, hell. All right. All right. Not too sure how Haas deals with this matchup here. Probably a uh, similar, similar structure to what we saw with the Anji versus uh, Justice match, which, uh, you know, just has to stay in, and once they get pushed out, it gets a lot harder. Just like he gets in any matchup, just gets a hit, and he goes in. Yeah, yeah, he don't stop, he don't stop. <laughs> he gets a hit. Yo, I gotta he say, gotta though... find a way. I gotta say, though, this color looking a little bit like, uh, looking a little uh, starting gear in an MMO uh, color scheme. You know, I can definitely see that. Yeah. It definitely looks like some kind of a... It'd be like on a like a fantasy star or something like that. Yeah, yeah. All right, looks like we got the game small again. I'm not sure if our... Let's see if we can get that corrected there. For now, let's this action here. Heartwide, wow, stuffs the approach there. Oh, damn, just swinging with these Michael Swords. Oh, another air throw. Scores the scoop. That's game one. Or round one, rather. Yeah. Round one, game one, who's counting? It's all the same. <laughs> it's, all, it's all the same in the end, isn't it? Alright. I, I kid, I kid, I kid. No, 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 no. Oh, damn. Combo didn't work there. Combo dropped out there. Might have been looking for a tech reset. It didn't work out, though. Oof. Nice. Nuke FRC. That. I like it. Yeah, Nuke FRC is, uh, is very sneaky. I imagine it must be a little tricky for Haas to deal. I imagine it must be hard for Haas to deal with some of the new placements as well, since Haas has that low angle jump. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ooh. Yeah, oh no! Had the air oh, throw on the RC, but didn't get anything out of it. Oh, Tough break. Garbage. garbage got a lot of meter though. Oh, a lot of bar available. Attention! Oh, oh, uh oh. No, the way gun blaze hit? <laughs> gun blaze waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, one round of peace here. One round. We, got, we got burst available on both sides. Oh, nice CD. Oh, the 2S is going in. Mm, definitely didn't want that 2D. Oh, but wanted that for sure. Trying to keep oh. a heart wide jailed, but getting that gold burst. Yeah, gets the gold burst, but still down like 50% life here, so it needs like something chunky to get this started. Garbage looking nice. Oh. Wow! Gets swatted okay. out of the approach deck. What is happening? It's a swing with a Michael Blade, doesn't get anything out of it. Oh, the garbage would have got like pick up on that situation. Just... Nice. Oh. Locks it though, still still their turn. Oh, you're right. oh. oh no! Hardwood! Oh! Damn! Garbage taking game one over Heartwad. This is to get into top eight as well. Mm -hmm. Top eight side. on that winner side, so really wants to. Both sides really want to make this happen here. For now, though, Garbage sitting up a game. Heartwad gonna have to see if they can make an adjustment here. Seemed like round one was uh, was going okay in Heartwad in Heartwad's favor, but then uh, as as the match went on, it seemed more and more like Garbage had it uh, dialed in on how to get around things. Mm -hmm. And uh, Garbage is playing. Uh... Came with coming with the fire too, like, and uh, you know, gar garbage. You know, I'm not sure if I mentioned four, likely mm -hmm. have, but if you haven't, you know, definitely one been one of those players who's uh who's been oh no another disconnect. But Damn, low. tough break. I'm not sure why that's happening here because both players look like look like they got hella ping. Well, I mean low ping, but you know good ping. It could just be you know like the the version and stuff, the connecting and everything. So yeah, tough break. I'm not a designer. I'm just here to talk. <laughs> But uh, no, 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 like garbage. Uh, I would definitely like to see uh, see him getting the top eight winner side on, on this. Uh, Hardwire too, but more so because you know I'm definitely like, I would say personally pulling for garbage. They've been doing some um, you know doing some work in these brackets. So yeah, and steadily been getting better in uh, Hardwire too. Uh, now 
for, formerly Heartwad, now is Wota. Wota, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, Wota <laughs> has, has completed the power up state for the uh, the evolution uh, Pokemon evolution. <laughs> Into the Michael Sword. Got the new control on the screen here. Checks with that big jump button. Just as jump buttons are so big. Oh. Nice sequence there. Nice switch to slash switch. Trying to cross the other side there. Gets clipped by the 5k. A little bit of a follow up there. Not a full follow up. Nope. Where are you going? We got oh. full bar available here, here from Garbage. Get scooped. Putting that meaty nuke on him. Okay, got a dead angle. Ooh! Ooh, get knocked down! Okay. Let's get into the Gunblaze here. Nice FRC off of that. I've kicked my... Oh, jump kick, jump kick. Oh! Oh, the Gunblaze juggles! God, oh, lady, no! Gunblaze! <laughs> died off of the Black Beat. You never want to die off the Black Beat. Damn. Block in the air, Michael Blade. Ooh! They are staying. Oh, Air really? Nice. I like the FRC afterwards to be able to recover a little bit quicker and make things happen. Mm -hmm. Nice air throw from uh, Hot Rod. Oh, running nice. under. Good stuff. Nice with the FRC Ooh. too to allow for that juggle. Got the loop. Oh, again, another 5K. Yeah, uh, Hot Rod's gonna have to start uh, being really careful being in, um, in garbage in space. Oh no, this pick up off the gun blaze there. Look at that, able to follow up afterwards from the air tech. FRCs to be able to pursue after the air tech out of the corner. Really good stuff from Garbage here, not letting Heartwad have any room. Aggression is real from uh, Garbage right now. Oh, it, it, this is it. That it? That's it. Oh, 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 oh the burst. That burst. Oh, oh, oh. Still alive? This might cost you. Oh, no, it's not. No, it didn't. Uh, okay. If Heartwad would have made that comeback, oh my goodness. Mm hmm. The garbage gonna take it 2-0 over um over Walter, aka Arwat. Yeah. He's gonna punch his ticket into top big winner side. Good job, garbage. Very well played from garbage, getting us some Haas representation on the winner side. And you're gonna go up against uh Wimble on the um in the top eight winner oh, side. Oh hell yeah! All right, we are not. I think we're still waiting for some of the top eight to get rounded out. We I think the lower half of the bracket. We got a couple matches to go still. Oh. <laughs> All right. So, I think right now, I think believe if, uh, what I'm understanding is correct. We're gonna wait until the lower the lower half of the bracket's gonna finish itself up here. We, there's some uh, some bangers of matches, but we're gonna have to hold off on that. We got Panda Bedic and Tails already waiting in top eight, and then we'll have or in the lower half of it, and we'll have some other matches to round that out. However, in the meantime, uh, we have got a video for y'all. Uh, some some interviews with members of the New England FGC. And this one here is gonna be about one of the strongest CF players in the region. We saw them on playing a little bit earlier with their Robo Kai, uh, Spooky yeah. Blast. And we'll be having a little video here, uh, giving some uh, info about them and uh, yeah, and what they've been uh, with the scene. I'm oh, sorry, Milky, you have something else to add? Oh no, it's just, you, you're already, <laughs> 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 uh, I was just trying to commentate, you know, say something too, but. Oh, oh my bad, my bad, I didn't mean to take everything. All right, well, yeah, I think that's it then. Um, yeah, video whenever y'all are ready.